what's going on and welcome back to the Blake Billman Mask Channel and today we're back with another Slipknot Mask unboxing. Now today's unboxing is a self-titled Chris Bean Spit It Out Liar conversion. Now as many of you probably know the rumor about this particular Chris Bean Mask is that it was actually stolen from Chris prior to OzFest 99 and given how little we actually saw this particular Chris Mask I would say that the rumor about this mask being stolen probably does hold up. Now, as many of you know, if you've been on my channel before, you know that Chris is probably my third favorite member of Slipknot. And is definitely the one that I miss the most being in the band. And I do hope that one day, especially now with the legal troubles between him and Slipknot kind of being sold out of court and being put behind them, that I hope one day that we do get Chris back in the band. I mean, especially considering that the band made it through four album cycles with the nine original members on the self-titled record. And to have three of those guys gone now, which unfortunately, as we all know, rest in peace, Paul Gray, Joey Jorson was fired, and Chris decided to try and sue his bandmates, and he was ultimately let go of the band as well. So I just kind of hope with all that being behind them that we can get Chris back into the band and at least get one of the original nine back into the band and get back to having seven original members. But enough of me talking. I'll go ahead and get on to... What you guys are here for and that's our mask unboxing so if you guys could go ahead and drop a like on this video because a little love goes a long way and really helps out the channel and we'll go ahead and get on to this mask unboxing we'll go ahead and give you guys the first shot of this and now obviously like i said earlier in the video this is a spit it out version of chris Fiend's original mask and this was done by uh, michael dufresne over at md studios and like I said, I think Michael did a very good job in this conversion. And this was definitely one of like the most unique looks that we had for Chris. Because there was always something about, you know, those little squinty eyes and the big open mouth that just gave this mask a really eerie look. And um, it almost made it look entirely creepy. And I just have always really liked this particular variant of Chris's. And it's a shame that we didn't get to see it more. Now, me personally, I've always loved Chris's mask. There's always been something about this liar mask that it's just always kind of really stood out to me. I just love the long nose that's on it. It's just always been a mask to me that I think was one of the most unique masks when it comes to Slipknot. I mean, just being able to take that original Distortions Unlimited Liar and turn it into this kind of mask, to me, was just always an amazing feat. But yeah, overall, I think Michael did a really good job on this between the conversion itself you know, getting all the rivets and the strapping in place, which is definitely no easy task if you ask me. And just ultimately getting a very good stitch job around here, which is I always find, you know, you always see conversions out there of these. And I always think a lot of people go wrong on the stitching across underneath the nose here. It always ends up kind of giving the mask a wonky look if not done right. And I think Michael did a very good job converting this. But enough of me. I'll go ahead and get you guys some up close shots of this. And this has been Blake Billman here at the Blake Billman Mask Channel. Reminding you to strive to be mask elite. <laughs> 